Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be going over sub clipping in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is really important to break apart certain clips into the important aspects of that clip. So let's say you recorded something for maybe, um, I don't know, two or three minutes and inside of that there's like eight or nine different clips that you can use. Maybe it was a bunch of different takes of something or maybe you just moved from one spot to the next and different things happen throughout the clip. So what you can do is you can actually do something called sub clipping where you break apart those clips and bring them in here like they're their own video. That way you're not working with this one video that you have to keep cutting down every time you want to use it. You have them all nicely organized and ready to work for you. So I'm gonna be using the composition I started in my last video on organizing your timeline. If you wanna see that, I'll throw that in the links below. Um, but just basically, uh, just has a bunch of imported footages, or footage sorted into different folders. And so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the source monitor up here to subclip these clips and organize them into another folder that are you know subclipped. So let's get started. First off, what we wanna do is we want to open up the piece of footage up here that we want to actually subclip. So for this one, I'm actually going to use 491 right here. So you can see this is all raw footage. It's not clipped, it's, it's just brought in directly from the camera. So we have like all of this dead space, like in the beginning, and this one just goes really, really, really long for 27 seconds. Now, most likely I'm not gonna be using all 27 seconds, but let's say I wanted to use from maybe the first, uh, t after 10 frames to, I don't know, maybe four seconds. Let's say that's a clip that I really like. Now, I could just take this and drag it over to here. And by the way, I didn't go over. If you wanna open up something up here, just double click on any of these. Um, if you double click over here, it's gonna to try to import something. So, And if you double click here, it's gonna to try to rename it. So click on these symbols right here and you will open it up up here in the source monitor. Uh, this is under the editing workspace. If it doesn't look like this, you can go to Windows, Workspaces, and Reset. Anyway, back to what we were doing. So let's reopen up 491 here and we wanna create ourselves a little clip here. So what we can do is we can go right to here. We can click I or O. Um, I is the starting mark in, O is mark out, or you can click these buttons if you want. So I can click this left button. Let's say I want the clip to start here. And then now I want it to, I know I'm just looking at it. Uh, it feels about right, you know, right here. This is where the end of the clip was. This is what I wanted. So I can click the mark out button and you'll see that it actually created this little clip right here. Now, if we go down here and let's just create ourselves a new bin, um, clipped, I don't know, you can call it uh, archways. Sure, that's what we'll do. So we can go into here and we can just take this, click on this panel and drag it down into clipped archways. And we can uh, rename it right here to start of archways. And now suddenly, if we take this and drag it onto our footage, our uh, sequence over here, you'll notice that it's only the piece that I clipped. It's already been cut for me. So it's like it's its own piece by itself, um, which is really, really neat. And now, so we can keep doing that. We can, you know, um, move forward. Like, okay, right here is where another one we wanted it. So we want it to start here again. So we just click the start button. And that's where we want it to end. So we click the end button, click on this whole thing and drag it into clipped archways. And we can name this second clip. And, you know, we keep renaming these. And now suddenly we don't have this, this you know, this, what is it, just 491. It's not this giant clip, this raw footage. Now we're suddenly getting clips, things that we want to start working with, and we're organizing them into a, you know, an easy to use sort of solution. So now I can bring this second clip in here, and you'll see that it is just the same. It is exactly clipped. And this doesn't have to be brought into here first. If we just want to create a clip, we can go ahead up here, and we can just click straight from here down, and it'll bring whatever we subclip. So if like, I uh, click this and drag it over, and now I drag it down, you'll see that it's a different portion right over here and it's just as easy as that so that's kind of what the source monitor up here is supposed to do is that the sequence is being played over here in this monitor but if you actually want to you know preview some of your footage make clips of it and before you drag it in instead of having to drag it in and then try to cut it back and stuff like that you can do that and these clips don't have to be permanent you can just kind of get a you know the gist of what you want because once they're in this timeline it's not like they were permanently altered we can drag them back out and re-extend them if we want but what we're doing is we're just organizing it beforehand so that we have it all in a nice place and we can just drag the clips that we want in you know cut some frames off this side cut some frames maybe extend it a little bit over here and it works out perfectly the next thing i want to kind of go over here and this is just a sort of um, little I guess nuance that we should go over is that if you notice when I go up here and I click the play button, it plays through the clip 
and then it goes back over. And that's that's really important for some people because they kind of want to keep feeling it out. And a lot of times, um, the new default in CC is it doesn't do that. So if we turn off the loop here, it'll actually just play and it'll just go straight past it and it doesn't actually look like you clipped it. So what we can do is we can turn on this loop button and a lot of this by default this loop button isn't here. So if you want to add the loop button, go down here to the bottom right to button editor and it'll be right here. Um, it might be somewhere else in here, but it'll be in here somewhere. Click on the loop and drag it on down and it'll add it in here. So like if I drag it off right here, uh, let's say I want this loop. So I click and drag the loop button down and the loop button is now a part of it. We click OK and now we can just turn that on. So whenever we click the play button, it's only going to play over and over what we have clipped out. Again, just a little nuance sort of thing, but I found it very helpful because a lot of times I don't want to have to watch the whole clip and have to keep re-putting it back to the front and stuff like that. So really, really quick way of just speeding that workflow up. That is going to cover it for this video. Remember that sub clips are a great way to organize your footage even further. They are um, great to take you know a long piece of footage, break it down into the parts that are important, and then have them easy to just drag over later on. And then you know you can make your little adjustments inside the sequence. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post a video every other day. If you've got any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below. I would love to get back to you guys. If you've got any uh, like, uh, suggestions or things you want to see as a tutorial, throw those in the comments below. I'd love to make a tutorial on them. And yeah, until next time guys, see ya.